<laughs> now, come on now, the joke's <laughs> over. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, God. What's up with your head? Oh, it's just the tension before taking off. I'll be okay in a minute. Wouldn't it be terrible to be killed in a plane crash? <laughs> yes. Or, or, or if you just fell out of the plane. If the floor just disappeared from under you and you just fell out and you'd be falling for ages and ages and ages and... better, Ted. No, Dougal, not really. No. Tell you what, maybe I'll give Larry Duff a call. He developed a fear of flying after all those crashes he was in. He went to a hypnotherapist to cure it. Told me I could give him a call any time I was feeling nervous. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Oh, what was that? Oh, uh, just a bit of turbulence. God, I wish I wasn't so nervous. You know, Larry told me once, you've more chance of being trampled by a herd of stampeding donkeys than you have of being killed in a plane crash. No, he's not picking up. Ted! No, Father Fay. Oh, hi. Ah, yes, it's very good. Oh, I am a very big fan of his, all right. Or should I say, oh, why? No, uh, there's no mention of it so far. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, God damn, he has been driven mad. He wants me to take him up to see the cockpit. Uh, cockpit, Ted. Ah, Ted, can I have a look, too? Well, do Oh, God, what are you up to now? Please, no! But I better go. Coming father. Great. <laughs> Dougal, don't touch anything. We don't want an action replay of the Sea Link incident. All right, fair enough, Ted. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there you are, father. You wanted the official tour. Oh, God, yes. He's been talking about nothing else all day. Will you calm down, you little monkey man? Basically, these are the main controls. Over here, we have the gauges for engines one, two, and three. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, I was only asking if you'd ever been in a cockpit before. No, but I, I was on the bridge of a ceiling very once, and it was funny, but I was looking at the controls, and... Uh, <coughs> oh, uh, nothing happened at all. <laughs> right. That's it. <laughs> hey, come on now. What's so funny? What's so funny? Just come on now. The joke's over. Uh, who are you? What do you mean, who am I? You blind? I'm the man you've been pelting with pieces of rolled-up paper for the whole journey. But I have not. Oh, why are you laughing, then? What's the big laugh about? I'm listening to comedy on these. It's Mr. Bean. Oh, right. <laughs> and yes, I am blind, as a matter of fact. <laughs> is it since birth, or is it a more recent thing, do you know? Since birth. Right, that's very interesting, but I... I suppose your other senses make up for it. I hear that with blind people there, their other senses become more alert, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> I suppose you can smell things from ten miles away and uh, you hear things before they happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> no sixth sense of any kind. Or I suppose in your case it'd be a fifth sense, as seen as you've only got the four. <laughs> Unless there's another one missing that I don't know about. <laughs> Hold your sense of touch. <laughs> Could you go away now, please? <laughs> yes, I'd like. I'll do just that. <laughs>